Why did the dolphin cross the bay? Why? To get to the other tide. <laughs> okay. Hello. Uh, and to them, talk about blocksels, as the screed says. And yeah. So let's. What is blocksels? Um, that's Bloxels Edu is the version I'll be using, and it Bloxels is an app that allows you to create your own video games. Note this was this was the only slide we could actually keep and not replace. And this is the home screen. We're focusing. We're going today. We're going to be focusing on Builder, but you'll get a peek in our, at our at what the at the arcade too. So that's gonna be cool. And so, okay. So you'll click the button that says Builder. So, with the one with the low grid, and then, oh, there's also a feet. Pew Pew is just my username for the game. That's the thing in the corner. And there's always a featured game that you can play at the during the home screen. So, but the builder arcade settings and username is always there. But the game there in the Bloxels is there too. But the the featured game is different. Is different every time. There. First, we're going to create a character. Some people would create characters last, but I'll do mine for. But today, we're we're doing it, creating our character first. So when you first, when you click builder, this is the screen that will come up. We're going to click characters. To create a character, um, we're going to click the Create New Character button, and a screen like this will pull up. Um, the colors and the color wheel, that is how you select your color. The grid is where you make it, and then the idle, walk, jump, and fall is like the different animations for the different things. Idle is when your character is not moving, like walking, jumping, or falling. Walk is when your character is walking. Jump is when your character is jumping. And then fall is when your character is either falling or it's reached the apex of its jump and it's coming down. This is the character we created. <laughs> Goes with the theme. <laughs> and, and you can create animations as you see how we... You press the plus to add a new board, a, f a frame, and then you can create new, and then you can animate your little dude. For the idol, he's just going boop, beep, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> and for walk, he's going whoop, whoop. He's just kind of walking. Jump, he's going like wee. And for fall, he's up, totally just doing the same thing, but upside down. And then next, we're going to create some art we're going to need. It's similar concept. Oh, that's where the search ball would come in when you have lots of them. You would press. You would you could search by title, but you need it. Like you could search by title. Your b art. We're going to create. Click the create new art button. And then your the same screen will pull up, but you'll notice one difference. Instead of idle walk, jump, and fall, you'll just have a box that will show what it lo would look like in the game. That is the snowman I made, the evil snowman. For fun, he walks around trying to trying to destroy your penguin, and, and then. Next, we're going to create the background, which is like the background of the game. Even it barely affects the game in any way; just affects what the back of the like what you see behind the game looks like. It, see the bar in the bottom with all the plus symbols is where you can use art, and then <clears throat> two. You can use art to make it, 
and there's a you can also copy and paste and erase and then that's we us grabbing a snowflake we made and in this case is one case where you're not dealing with a grid <coughs> that's finished we named it snow as you can see up there and then now next we're going to create the game which you press the create new game button and hero pose you can choose any of the animations of you of your current character you can fill colors like the that background color around the character and the cartridge art is like the basically the cart around the character in the fill color you can change your character your background and your music so we're first we're going to grab a character penguin then we're going to grab a background, snow. Then we're going to grab a music track, puffy shuffle. And we're going to set the hero pose to upside down falling penguin. Fill color all the way to white. Cartridge art to the back, to my favorite cartridge art, which is the all the way that way, the thing. And yeah, this is what your starting thing will look like. This is one edge. And the, this is, we, okay, red is lava, don't touch. Orange is blocks you can pick up and place down. They work as weapons, too. You can drop them on enemies and we'll take them out. <laughs> um, there's yellow coin blocks. Green terrain blocks. You can't do really anything with them. You just have to, you just have to jump around them or avoid them. But you can touch them. Um, there's water you can swim in, but warning, it will slow you down. There's purple enemies. There's, there's two, you can, they can walk or they can fly. There's power-ups, there's heart, body, and, um, uh, can't remember, and I can't remember the last one, but there's three. Um, and then the white is story blocks slash checkpoints slash you win the game. <clears throat> so yeah. We, you can decorate. See, we turned a coin into a fish. Some, some of the terrain into, we turned some of those dirt, two of the top layers of dirt and two snow blocks I made, and dirt blocks, which I also made. And you have six hearts, and you can collect the coins. It shows you how many of how many you have, and touching lava or enemies will take down your health. Um, the hand button is how you will grab a block. The Button with an upward arrow is how you jump. And those two buttons, the two arrows, is how you move around. And you, okay. And you can pick up, and if your health runs down to zero, you, can, you will regenerate the, the last checkpoint or at the beginning of the game. And that's the time you've spent playing that world. That's been seven seconds. And you jump on enemies to defeat them. So that is basically a grid of your game, a map of your game. And you use it. And you can. And each square is essentially a screen. And we're going to give you a sneak peek into the arcade. It's where you can share your games or play someone else's games. So that's cool. I've actually played a few of these, tried a few of these featured <laughs> games. I'm not good at them, though. Just saying. <laughs> hey, am I... You, like username thingy, like 
you can choose like an art or a character to be as your art for your username. I chose my bunny rabbit. Boom, spring, 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 spring. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I've got for you today. Thank you. Thank you.